Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Jody Middendorf and I make videos about the Peace Corps. Today we're talking about the topic, does Peace Corps pay volunteers? It seems contradictory because the word volunteer implies that you're not getting paid, but people hear different things about the Peace Corps monetarily, benefits, different things, and so I'm going to explain exactly how that works today. If you find this video helpful at all, please consider liking, subscribing, or sharing my content. So let's get right into it. Does the Peace Corps pay volunteers a full salary while they are working in a different country doing whatever job they're doing? The answer is no. But do you have to support yourself for the two years that you are in the Peace Corps? Do you have to save up money before you go into the Peace Corps in order to survive in the Peace Corps? No. The Peace Corps pretty much got you covered. Peace Corps will pay for flights to and from the country of your service. The Peace Corps paid for my flights from Minnesota to Philadelphia where we did staging and met with all of the other volunteers in my stage and then also paid for the hotel rooms and the food in that city and then they also pay and booked our flights to the country to Madagascar where I served. That does not cover if you decide to go on vacation and visit home you have to pay for that yourself. But for your initial going to the country and your final returning home, that is paid for. Peace Corps also supplies you with full medical and dental coverage to the extent where if you are in an unreachable location and you have a medical emergency, Peace Corps will evacuate you. In Madagascar, there were some places far enough from the capital that you couldn't drive there in a day. And so Peace Corps, if need be, would rent an airplane to fly to pick up the volunteer and bring them to a place where they can receive medical attention if necessary. That never happened while I was there, but it's nice to know that you are covered in the best way that you can be where you'll be at. You might be thinking, wait, 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 wait. You said Peace Corps volunteers don't get a salary, but I know that Peace Corps volunteers get money every month. That's true. I don't consider it a salary because you can't live off of it outside of your Peace Corps experience. You're not going to save your money for future endeavors, but Peace Corps does supply you with a monthly stipend that is enough money to get you through the month based on the surveys and different assessments of where you are living. So depending where you're living in the country or in the world, you will receive different amounts of money every month from the Peace Corps to live off of. You can spend that money basically how you want to. They give you so much for food, so much for each different thing, but it is ultimately up to you to spend that money how you want while you're in country. That money is deposited into your bank account every month and then you it's your job to go to a bank and take that money out and spend it how you wish each month. The amount that I received while I was in Madagascar was, this is a rough estimate, but around $150 I would say per month that I was just to spend however I want. They also gave us an amount of money in our monthly allowance that they put into our account that is meant to be saved and held into your account until times when you have to travel to the capital, travel to the Peace Corps headquarters for different meetings throughout your service. Peace Corps also provides housing. So that's another huge benefit. You don't have to be spending your monthly allowance on your housing situation. You may have to use your money that you're allocated to fix up things if you need a new light bulb or things like that. There are also situations where Peace Corps volunteers have to pay their own electricity or other utility bills but that is very affordable in my experience and also in my personal experience I didn't have to pay for my electricity. Thankfully I lived on a school compound and they didn't ask me to contribute to the electric. You also get training from the Peace Corps, a lot of training and that isn't something that's monetarily um, measurable. I got my TEFL certificate, I didn't have to pay anything for it. I learned a new language, I was trained in how to live in a new country, I had personal development classes, I learned how different organizations worked, NGOs, you get help applying for jobs before you leave, you do get a lot of training and a ton of personal development that you otherwise would probably have to pay for in a different setting. So each month that you're in the Peace Corps, there's an amount of money set aside for you for the event that you go home. For when you finish your service or go home early, any reason that you leave, you have this money set aside and each month it grows. And that is your readjustment allowance. So that's supposed to help you when you go back to where you live, probably in the United States, 
or wherever you receive this chunk of money to get you back on your feet, help you get your first apartment, a car, things like that. Uh, I received around $8,000, something like that. That's again another rough estimate. But it gives you an idea that you aren't making money necessarily. It's not a career. You would make more money in almost any other career option. But there are benefits. You're taken care of and you do get a little bit of money when you're done for readjustment purposes. So finally, do you receive money from the Peace Corps? Yes, but not a full salary. Do you get benefits? Yes. Do you earn a full income? No. Do you need to monetarily support yourself while in the Peace Corps? No, Peace Corps will take care of you. Unless, of course, you have other things back home, like a mortgage or car payment or things like that. You want to take care of that yourself. They're not going to help you out with that. That is for you to figure out. Same with student loans. You can get deferments for being in the Peace Corps, but ultimately that's up to you. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what other questions you have. Bye!